Hey guys, welcome to day 21 of the 28 days data science AI and AI challenge. Well, today I'm going to talk about a very important topic called ML Ops. You might have heard about ML Ops a lot of time, right? But what it is, what is ML Ops? Technically, it talks about model deployment. If you remember the whole process of data science, right? There are multiple steps, multiple stages, and model deployment is one of the important stages. But what happens is that 60 to 70 percent of the time a model is never deployed it stays in the phase of model building and model evaluation the reason behind it is because a lot of time the stakeholder would be not not very comfortable with the given model a lot of times the model uh, the data scientists would keep on creating new models so it takes a lot of times to accept the model what we have created but at the same time it's very very important to deploy the model because if you don't deploy the model you won't know what is the impact of that model right so it, so let's look into it how should we deploy model so today i'm going to just focus on the theory i've created one small code right but at the same time the idea would be to understand as much as possible and then we'll go you know, go to a very important or a larger code okay so if you find any kind of information what i have shared in the slide something wrong let me know i have put forward the email address it's maheshkumar.pike at the rate outlook.com so you can share with me your feedback okay now what is model deployment so model deployment is nothing but the process of making a machine learning model it can be a deep learning model also okay available for the user in the production environment so what happens is the model what we have run normally what we have run is, is is run on a sample data set so we train our model on a sample data set but at the same time to understand or to have the roi of that model we need to make sure that we use that model in the production because if we don't use in the production we don't know exactly what is the output and what how it can be helpful for the business so let's look into the process of it okay if you want you can increase the speed of the video to 1.5x so this is a very quick interesting way to to see the whole process of a data science or a project okay so when we think about model building right what we do is that we select a data set perform data splitting do a model building if the model score is not good we continue to keep doing the model building again and again try to get that perfect score if the model is good then we do the model interpretation if then we go to model deployment we play the with, with the model but i'm trying to focus on this part where we try to showcase this model with the help of our web app so what is what, what happens then there would be always an api you can call the do this api and this api is going to technically run the model based on the given data set what you have and give you an output stream link what i'm what i've written here it's a very good example where you can run it on your local server okay which i'm going to show you okay as we go on so before we do the stream with stuff, right, it's very, very important to understand what is a pickle. So pickle, technically what we do is that we convert our model into a pickle file. Okay. So pickle file technically compresses all the whole code and runs it very seamlessly for us. Okay. So we don't have to call the whole Python file in case we want to run the code. We can just compress this code into a pickle file and then use it as, as we go. Okay. We are going to look into that also. Okay, so Streamlit, I was as I was saying, is a very good, very easy to use, fast way to create a ML or uh, ML web app. Okay, machine learning web app, which you can do it in within your local server, or if you want to deploy it into the uh, into the server, you can do that also. Okay, so I'm going to give, I'm going to show you this one in the uh, in the, in the example in the coding example. Okay, now. A very important topic. If you are in the machine learning world, it's very important to understand what is Docker container iteration. So, in in the very old times, right, there used to be always a problem called it works on my machine. What does it it means? It works on my machine. It means that something some programming is is working in my machine but doesn't work in your machine doesn't work in the server machine because the libraries the dependencies what i have set in my machine is different than the libraries and the dependency which are set in your machine or in the server right to solve this what happens is that we create a container in a container we put forward all the requirements what are what, what, what are needed so the requirements are going to be ran first the libraries the, all the required constants and then the application runs so that now because 
now what we what we do is that we we give this container to the server directly so if it runs in my system which is in the container it should run in the server also if it if I, if i give to you it should run in your server in your computer species also because it has all the requirement and it's going to get an exact replica of the platform right where the program is running so this this idea is called docker which I'm going to go in a bit more deeper as we go to the different different days of challenges. Okay. If you have any question, put in the feedback. I'm happy to answer those questions. So now, what are we going to do? So to, this is something which I'm going to work on, work, work on it, and I'm going to show this code tomorrow. Okay. So I'm going to create a spam and ham model using a scikit learn. Okay. I'm going to save this model in a picker file, build a web app with a streamlit, package it with a Docker, and then deploy into a cloud platform what i will do i will make sure that i'm able to do till here tomorrow and then the rest part can be done on the next next challenge okay now just to understand just to make sure that we have some practical practical learnings every day so i'm going to show you what is streamlit okay with the help of a code with the help of a very small code okay so technically remember streamlit technically we can create a python file where we can have html tags and all and these html can, tags can be can be ran behind the box with the help of streamlit libraries and the output what we get is a web app which i'm going to show you okay okay so once we do all these things then you would be an expert in model deployment okay but remember it is a state it is a process okay there are a lot of things which comes into the mlops and model deployment but at the same time remember this is a very important thing which you should know okay so let's jump to the code and if you have any questions put in the comment box okay see you code part of the stream deck stream deck is a library which is creates a web app so i won't be able to showcase with the help of google collab so that's why i have to showcase with the help of jupyter notebook okay so here to keep it simple i'll just show you that i have went directly to the the uh, the library where the code is so again i'll go to the path just to showcase you okay so i'm in that library in that folder right now i'm going to open jupyter notebook So this should open a Jupyter notebook for me. Okay, so I'm going to show you this file. So if you see, it's a very simple, simple code where I have called the stream link. I have run few HTML tags like for example title, header, subheader, text, markdown. Right? I've written one formula with the with the respective tags. Okay. So once I run this, it is going to open a web page and it is going to show me all these header tags. Very simple, very straightforward to understand just Streamlit. Okay, we are just focusing on Streamlit today. Okay, if you have any question in any of this tag, do let me know. So I'll go back to terminal. I'll say now stop running Jupyter Notebook. I would need you to run Streamlit. So the so the the tag the command is you have to write Streamlit then run then write stream hello or stream hello streamline hello gy if i run this so it will again go to the web page start running and this is what i have got so hello stream lead header subtitle tag h1 tag h2 tag h2 tag this is the formula what i had written this is this is the dictionary what i had okay so this is a very small demo demo of streamlit in the next section i will show you a whole code running a model then using a pickle path and then using a streamlit the whole thing okay so till that time if you have any question let me know i'm happy to share you my feedback thank you guys if you have reached till here it means that you have finished the video thanks for watching and being part of the 28 data science challenge your support engagement and enthusiasm make this journey even more exciting for me if you found this valuable drop a comment share your insight and tag a friend who should join us let's keep learning building and growing together in the ai engineer space make sure to like subscribe and stay tuned for the next challenging stuff what is going to come tomorrow because we have just started with, and it's going to get better and better as we go bye